For the first time in three decades, there's new hope tonight in the fight against a lethal brain tumor, a vicious cancer that strikes only children. Dr. Kim Mulvihill joining us and young, um, young. Children. Alan, this is a terrible cancer. Most children die within a year. Now, a new discovery published today in a prestigious medical journal. It was all made possible when the parents of a young boy in the Bay Area met a dedicated young scientist at Stanford. Three-year-old Jaden Jewett is getting a good look at a true superhero, his older brother Dylan. Dylan was a very remarkable kid. He was very empathic to the needs of others. Whoa, you're <laughs> flying fast, Superman. He was a superhero. He, he would wear um, his little Superman outfit and he'd put his regular clothes on over it <laughs> so that if case there was ever any danger, he was ready to you know, change and become Superman. But soon, Dylan was in danger. At age five, he was diagnosed with an extremely aggressive brain tumor. Known as diffuse intrinsic pontine glioma, the cancer appears in the brain stem, invading healthy brain tissue. It's really a horrible disease. Even with treatment, the prognosis is grim. This cancer is almost universally fatal. The median survival for this really horrible brain tumor that afflicts specifically children is nine months. There have been no new medical advances to treat this cancer for 35 years. But now there's new hope, thanks to Dylan, his parents, cool. and a team of scientists at Stanford. Hug me. When Dylan was brought to the medical oh. center, he was at the end of his life. His parents then met neurologist and researcher, Dr. Michelle Mange, and asked if they could donate his brain tumor. His tumor needs to be donate, donated, and here's somebody that can try and help and research and find something other than, sorry, your child's gonna die. When Dylan died, the Stanford team quickly harvested his brain tumor. For the first time in the world, scientists were able to coax the cancer cells from Dylan's tumor to grow in the lab. Hopefully, I think Dylan's tumor is going to shed some light on potential new therapies. In fact, the team just published a groundbreaking study revealing one way the tumor may grow. Dylan is a true superhero. One day his little brother will know. His life may have been short, but <laughs> his memory is going to live on forever because of what what we were able to do. It's very inspiring. I, mean, I truly hope no other parent ever has to go through this in time again. There's an online community of parents with kids who have this particular type of brain cancer, and some have also donated their late children's tumors to Stanford in hopes of sparing other families the pain that they've experienced. Well, let's hope the new therapies come very quickly. Sure hope so. Yeah. All right, Kim. Thanks. Well, the